here to you Leah's <laughs> your energy came out all right Leah's happy new year I want to say um, thank you for returning um, all the Leah's who have been supporting my channel for uh, quite some time thank you so much for returning thank you for your wonderful likes and share whatever the issue is and the situation is um, this year is a year of looked okay here so be aware and be careful what happened because the energy of uh, um, the hair is what is happening and transpiring so here you are the um, the element of fire and this is a year of ear Leo's so let's take a moment to balance ourselves Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, let's see what is happening for the Leas. Okay, so Leas, oh, um, balance. Okay, that's what I'm getting for you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I said it and it comes out. You need to find inner balance this year. Is the year of the eye princess and the fool the eye princess is a water energy which is the intuition which is the unseen world it's about new start this year and the energy of the fool is the omega that is giving you a new start okay so the universe is a stepping in and helping out each and every person in this year the eye princess the divine mother and the divine father is there 20 is the divine mother and the divine father okay and they're here helping you out and i see some of you leos in january is really connecting with the self you're going in and connecting with yourself to see the truth of issues and situation now january is going to be a little bit rough for you um, um guys because you are vibrating in the element of here um, you are um, a fire energy fire element and you're dealing with water in the month of January so wake up Leah's because January is going to be coming in a little bit hard for you guys because it's a water energy okay then um, whatever is transpiring I see that in February things are going to be looking up better um, whatever the issue in the situation is uh, that transpire in January you are going to be feeling much better this is not a victory this is not a win it is about coming out of that hangman position and um, feeling your energy returning okay so it's not about success it's just about uh, you have gone in um, introspect and now you're coming out in February feeling good so in February you're vibrating with your own energy vibration which is the energy of fire so this is going to be very wonderful because you're going to be feeling balanced because january you are on balance and in february you're going to be feeling balanced and feeling revitalized so january was a rough month but february is going to be better because you're going to be feeling revitalized so it's nothing about success it's all about being revitalized so as we move forward in the month of March, the energy of uh, the ego comes up. So um, another fire energy. So this is good. Um, calm the ego. Calm the ego because this is coming up because you're a fire sign. The ego is coming up and you need to calm your ego in the month of March. You need to step back, look at things, calm yourself, calms just bring calm to yourself and do not use the ego stay away from ego based people stay away from negative um situations because you need to bring back a uh, inner peace and balance to yourself so i see you're going to be having some outside influence happening in the month of march um but you're going to be learning to protect yourself from these deceptive situation and people and negative forces okay so that is the reason why 
um, this first quarter, February is going to be your best month because there is where you energize yourself after going within because in March you have to deal with some of the um, ego based thing. As we look at April, you're having um, balance because um, the energy of hurt comes in. Um, you are balancing out a situation with a corporation, um, organization, institution, your corporation. You're balancing situations out with this group of people. This is an earth energy, so you're going to be feeling grounded. So in the month of April, you're going to be feeling extremely, extremely grounded because you're working with groups of people and trying to balance out situations. As we look at um, as we look at the month of May, I see um, justice coming in in the month of May. Okay, so there was an issue and a situation that was transpiring, and there was a legal issue for some of you um, with a corporation. And what has transpired is that I see balance, balance in the scales, so whatever is transpiring. I see balance in the scale is coming in in the month of uh, um, May. OK, so you have air sign. So you have uh, um, the air sign, but that is bringing balance in your world. Now, as we look at uh, um, um, June, I see a tower moment. So whatever is transpiring, I see a tower moment coming up in June. Something is leaving your life. And what is leaving your life is negative forces, the deceptiveness, the negative energies, the outside forces, the people that despise you for whatever they are leaving. Okay. The situations around you that no longer serve you is leaving because balance came in. So this is happening in June. So... If I look at this, depends on what is going to come out for you, how you're dealing with this legal issue, because it's in um, the month of May, we are going to be realizing how. Let's look at the next six months. You have a situation, you're dealing with uh, people in power, or you're dealing with a father figure with some issues, or you're dealing with your husband. This could be father figure issues or people in power, or you could be using your power. Whatever this is all about, I see this could be connected to an organization and people in power in the month of July, okay? Um, as we move forward, this could be also, if you're a businessman, I see you could be starting a new business. Now, I see you overcoming a situation. This is good. So your best month is going to be your best month is um definitely going to be um august so i see you traveling in august i see you definitely traveling in august whatever the issue and the situation is i see you traveling in august so whatever that has happened and transpired you're definitely traveling in august i see a cycle is ended so some of you could be changing your car um, this, um, third quarter is going to be one of your best, the best quarter. The third quarter is going to be the best because you have the emperor. I see you have the chariot and now what is happening is that a cycle has been broken and the tower moment came up before. So the third quarter is that some of you were having some issues. If you are a businessman, I saw you having some issues. You're going to be getting over these issues. So for the business men and women that was having some issues, I see you overcoming this issue and this, uh, the circle is now ended, okay? So it was just business people. It's going to affect most um, business people, people in um, eye position um, that was having some issues and I see them overcoming this issue. Now, the eye princess comes up and this come, she comes up in the month of October. So October, the eye princess, this is the divine feminine. And what comes in is that she wants you to connect with your intuition in the month of um, October. Whatever is transpiring and happening, you have the energy of the hangman and the eye princess. Now, in the month of October, go within. 
because your spirit guides is going to guide you out as to what is the next step to do. I see you going on a new start, the energy of the year. So the eye princess is going to um, advise you the next step. So whatever that was happening and transpiring, the eye princess is going to be advising you towards the next step in your life. And this is going to be good. So that is wonderful. So you end the year with your own energy vibration where you're trying to find inner strength. You end the year with your own energy vibration where you're trying to find inner strength to move forward. Okay. So this is year is really a year where you're dealing with the energies of the lovers, but you end the year in December trying to find the power to move forward. Whatever is transpiring, I see you trying to find the power to move forward. And I see that you will regain this power. You will definitely regain this power. Now, your year is the year of the lovers, okay? So whatever is transpiring is that I see you um, connecting with yourself, but you are you're resolving a lot of issue a lot of situation you're really resolving a lot of issue and a lot of situations around you okay so oh leo so your best month again is um february you're going to be feeling full of energies okay and february and uh, um august February and August, you're going to be feeling good. And, you know, for the businessmen, this is going to be good. Um, businessmen who are having situation to deal with, businessmen or women who are having situation people, high-powered job people, I see you're going to overcome a situation that you are dealing with. Definitely in the month of November, you guys. And what is so beautiful with your reading is that I, Princess, and the Fool, the energy of the, the year is is ending your year and uh, i princess is in october and november so this is just so powerful for you leas whatever the secret and this is what i'm always saying whatever the secrets that is behind i see this really um super so let's see what message is coming out for the leas oh okay so leas um uh leas uh, i see eight of swords I see you, Leos, and it came out, Eight of Swords. So what is transpiring? I see a situation, but we're going to go there. So I know what that is for. So the Six of Swords, I see an ending coming in for you, Leos. Whatever is transpiring, I see you turning your back in the month of January to something and looking for better shores. So that's why you went in that Angman position and trying to figure out what what direction should I go in. So whatever has transpired, I see you go within in January and you decide, I need to make a new choice. I need to make a new decision. I need to um, relocate. And I see some of you in January thinking about relocation. Okay. So that is happening. So uh, January, you take the time off to think and you're deciding to relocate. In February, I see you're dealing with an issue with an um, institute, the organization, and um, there is some um, um, negative forces or people who are not vibrating on positive energy in this organization or institute. But I see that you're going to be overcoming this, okay? So as you move out of February, February, March, you're dealing with a corporation institute, say, and these people um, was doing some deceptive things, but you're going to be um, overcoming this and getting out of this, okay? So I see you guys are really trans uh, removing from an organization that doesn't serve you in February um February yeah in February going in mm, in March okay so whatever is happening some of you are going to be successful over this organization that you're leaving behind and moving forward in February going in March 
Now I see the energy of the lovers and that this is also the energy. So some of you could be getting divorced. Divorce is here for some of you. I see um, divorce is here for some of you. Okay. So that is going to be coming up. Divorce is here for some of you. That is going to be coming up. Definitely coming up in this year. Uh, April, May you'll be hearing of divorce, okay? Your partner could be saying they want a divorce. I see some deceptiveness um, that was going on um, with a legal issue, or if you were divorcing and your partner was holding back things, some deceptiveness, it's going to, the tower moment is coming up in June. So May going in June, there was some deceptiveness. I see the tower moment coming up in June and um, releasing you and removing this deceptiveness um, that has transpired, okay? So, um, like, definitely, if some of you are divorcing, I see really that your partner tried to, you know, take you down or take something, but um, justice came in and balanced this out because in the month of June, the deceptive situation, the lies or whatever deceptiveness was going on, the tower is going to be removing that. For business people, I am seeing um, the Eight of Swords. You're not seeing clear a situation, but you're going to be getting out of it. So for you um, business people, I see you're not seeing clear a situation um, with a business partner, but you're going to be getting out of it. And this is going to be God. As we look, I see um, overcoming a situation, whatever the situation is, I see um, the heartbreaks, the end of heartbreaks, okay? So in the month of August, uh, you could have been heartbroken for something, but uh, um, as you go in the month of uh, um, September, the heartbreaks is going to be ill, um, the end of the cycle, so heartbreaks okay so some of you are really going through some heartbreaks and um the 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 world is here bringing an end to that heartbreaks and ending that cycle of what you were going through now the eye princess is here and i see love is being offered to you so the knight of cups um and the energy of the eye princess so i see your spirit guides are going to be bringing in someone that is going to be offering you your love now this person is definitely a partner for some of you um and this person could be a child returning to some of you i see you're going to be having a new start with a child if a child is a pisces cancer or a scorpion i see healing is going to be coming for you and this child and it's as if uh, the universe is returning this child to you. So, I see some of you, um, November going in December, because November is a new start. But November going in December, I see you wanted to move or go someplace, but it's not going to happen. So, whatever that is transpiring, definitely and uh, november going into december because november you got clear and a new start and you wanted to go someplace but it's not going to happen i see the fool is still looking um behind because when it's like this so whatever is transpiring um you are going to be moving forward okay so you're going to find the strength to move forward so whatever heartbreaks that was there i see you're going to be finding the strength to move forward and this is going to be good so very positive no question um very positive it's just a lot of hardships a lot of things with um but you know i'm sorry to say but some of you are definitely going to get divorced um the elephant and the balance i see a divorce coming up i see um some deceptive play um, um, that you are going to be finding out about your partner. Uh, I see an ending coming in. Okay. So definitely, um, some of you, um, and it's going to end up in divorce. Okay. That's okay. All right. Let's see what is transpiring in the month of, um, January. I see a new start. 
um, some of you could be having kids could be delivering your baby in the month of January and um, I see a new start okay I see success for you at work in February as I have said for some of you there is some success for some of you at work in February then I see um, a deceptive man whoever this man is um, this is very deceptive you could be dealing with an Aries man a very deceptive person you got to be careful of this person extremely deceptive in the month of April I see you're going to be successful overcome a situation with your partner in the month of April um, your partner is um, yeah it can be a partner or it can be business partner also but you're going to be successfully overcoming a situation with a corporation that has to do with a business partner or your husband or wife because I'm seeing separation coming right after that I see you're going to be receiving a, um, a, a message and it's a very deceptive message whatever is transpiring it's, it could be a legal message but it's, it's deceptiveness um, so some of you uh, definitely I said was going to get divorced you could be receiving the letter in the month of May I see um, whatever is transpiring with your long-term stability I see this blowing up okay so however with a corporation organization I see this um, blowing up but whatever is leaving your life it's replacing it with something long-term okay so I'm seeing you receiving a letter about um, long-term st stability okay as if we look at July I see a contract a new business contract ladies and gentlemen a new business contract is coming out for you business people in the month of uh, July okay read the fine prints read the fine prints okay I see multiple offers is going to be coming for you whatever is happening and transpired definitely multiple offers is going to be coming for you um, whatever the heartbreak was I see that you are going to be getting over the heartbreak in the month of August um, the, the you know because you receive letter in May that a divorce they want to divorce you and it's okay um, the um, the world in the month of uh, September is bringing an end to a cycle the world is bringing an end to a cycle and that is good then we see the eye princess I see um, the clouds where some of you were not seen clearly you were blocked with your um, intuition were blocked um, clarity wasn't there okay the energy of the fool I see unexpected luck is going to come in, in with love unexpected luck is going to be coming into love I see a new start with you and a new love or you and a child that was separated unexpected luck is going to be coming in then um, we see um, some of you are being blocked to move forward whatever is transpiring I see like you're you want to move you want to relocate you want to go someplace but you're blocked and you can't move forward okay so um whatever um because i see it's as if you're trying to push to break through something and move forward and i see this block coming up but that's okay all right ladies and gentlemen let's check out and see what is happening and transpiring? Um, tower energies. Ooh, la, la. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so, all right. Let's see what two animals are coming out. Ooh, the auto comes up for you guys also. Oh my god. Oh my god, the auto come up for you guys. Let me see the second card because you can't. Oh yeah. The dolphin uh, the dolphin oh the whale all right so you have the otter and the whale in the rivers okay so the whale is a water sign the otter is also a water sign all right so you guys have two water animals that is going to be helping you 
So we have the otter and the whale, okay? These are both water, okay? So, wow, otter and the whale, water for a fire sign. Mm -hmm. Now, 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 you Leos. I love this animal. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna start using them um, often. Um, these animal um, cards because I only use them at. If you guys notice, I only use them at um, the year reader. The otter. Unobstructible joy, playfulness, contentment. Perhaps the most joyful creation within the animal spirit deck. The otter represent absolute bliss. Otter energy is the playfulness of a child available to us at any age. They have a grit and a revengefulness for life itself without the presence of doubt, worried or skepticism. Imagine yourself with a little more otter energy. What would life look like? What would it take to bring you there? The auto card begs these questions and wants to transport us um, to that precise place as soon as possible. The celebration awaits. So, when in balance, full of love needs nothing. When out of balance, grim, same, make it silly excuses to bring into balance, dance, party, and celebrate okay so that is wonderful i love the auto you little auto i love that that is just so cool all right so we have the whale i'm not going to put it it came out in the reverse i have the whale and this is the second and um energies for you guys okay and it says the desire um to vow deeper Profound peace, ancient wisdom. Wow. The whale represents profound emotional health and stability. The whale represent a representation or not afraid of emotional expressing or um, transferring through difficult terrains as they have overcome any challenges in their lives. These exp um these experienced um, animals have enriched themselves. It gives them stability, strength, and a depth that is rare. Whale energy is usually linked to the female forces of compassion and communication. We can depend on whale representation when all else seems lost and trust them to be a beacon in our darkest hour. Um, when in balance, calm, steady, um, deeply compassionate. When out of balance, heavy, um, slight into the old story. To bring into balance regular self-care. Okay, so this is what is coming up for you guys. Oh, um, hey. Now, a beautiful, beautiful energies for you guys. Extremely beautiful. Let's see what is the other energy that is coming up for you guys. So, Alrighty, so we see the door to personal healing and happiness. The door to personal healing and happiness. So whatever the issue is, whatever the situation is, I see the door to personal healing and happiness is transpiring. And this is extremely, extremely good. So be aware of that. The other energy is that embrace. Embrace whatever is going on around you. Embrace whatever is to inspire in your world, embrace yourself as a human being and make sure that you're understanding what it is that you were meant to be. It's all about embracing yourself, embracing your power, and this is going to be God. Archangel Zatkiel is here and it says security. Whatever the situation, whatever is happening, Archangel Zachiel is here and it says security. So whatever the situation is that is transpiring, I see the energy of Archangel Zachiel. Security is going to be given to you however way and whatever is transpiring. 
Archangel Zachiel is going to make sure that you are protected and secure. Okay. So I love you guys. Um, this is just so beautiful, so wonderful. Um, with the energy of Archangel Zachiel. Um, and you can use this angel um to bring forward positive alignment of energy, whatever the issue and the situation is. You can use the angels and um use them to bring for positive alignment of energy. I see whatever it is, a resolution is definitely going to be coming in, okay? I want to say um, namaste until next time. Mm -hmm.